Alright guys, it's Ghost, and welcome back to some more Temtem. So, last we left off, we realized we can't go farther up this path, because there's a double battle, and we are a uh, little low on our Temtem health at the moment, and there was... I was kind of banking on there being a heal shack halfway up this cliff. Uh, are we able to go down the rock wall? No. Okay. I was, however, informed that I can run from Temtem fights, which is what I might need to do. That is a cool-looking, uh, like, cloud dog thing. Oops, a little bit of frame lag there. Rough frame lag today. It's probably because it's loading so many people on the server and things. Oh. Let's see, can we kill it? Or are we running? Ah, it's just one Pajaro. Let's see. Um... Toxic spores, and that should probably end up killing it. Nope, next turn. At least we're getting good levels on these guys. But yeah, well, we should be able to make it to Ari Sola today. So that is the goal. And then, as far as I can tell, we need to visit the uh, the dojo, beat the dojo to get given a surfboard, so that way we can go find where the missing kids who had the surfboard went. I think it was Joseph and somebody or whatnot. I'm not entirely certain. Oh. Okay, these guys we can easily take. Let's see, it's Windblade or Equally dangerous. Let's go Windblade. I need to move these moves around so that way I can uh, actually kill things with them. Ooh, the scratches. Ow. Okay, maybe we can't kill these guys. Uh, we're gonna. It's gonna be close. All right. I can use Windblade two more times. Lali is stronger. Okay, yep, yep, you can... Ow. Oh, that's Nibble, not Nimble. nimble. Uh-oh, that's bad. No, we fainted. I should have taken the risk. I should have spread damage across between them. We've lost the battle. Oh, we lost 100. All right, well, now we know what happens when you faint. Um, ow. How much uh, money do I have total? Oh, wow, that was more than half of my money. All right, well, luckily I spent most of it previously, and it did give me all the heals. Oh, we're right back before town. We could have made it if I had just run, but I'm like, no, it's only two of the little bunnies. I could take the little bunnies. Got destroyed by the little bunnies. All right, well, at least we know for the future. I need to figure out where... The I really wish I knew where those kids were. If I'm even running in the remotely. There is something up there not loaded. I'm gonna go back in, because I think all the trees in town didn't load. There we go. There's the forest. <laughs> Must be the Lost Woods, except it was the thing getting lost. <laughs> oh, terrible jokes. Good to know that you can just run around in your underwear. Hey, to keep the game world classy. Alright. Uh, this is not a good team. We're out. I want to make it to the city, so I'm going to kind of try to dodge the unnecessary battle until we at least hit new areas. I really should switch to a team that actually is capable of handling the gonkies, because uh, these guys are not. Um, Kaku. Yeah, it's still better damage. It's neutral against it, so. Aha! Your DC beam does nothing. Oh, 
I need to rearrange those moves. I'll do that right after battle. Tail strike, and that should be it. Oh. Alright, didn't even need to bring Kaku in other than to tank that hit. Okay, squad. Let's get Kaku in here, and... There we go. Buff moves to the bottom, good moves to the top. I'm excited for having some of these guys evolve. What's this sign say? Upper Indigo Lake. It's obviously where I get water Tim Tim from surfing, judging by how many people out there have one following them. Oh, that's a cool looking cloud dog thing. There's actually a lot of cool stuff up here. Alright guys, let's see what we can do. Wake up you, we have company! Huh? What? Get ready to be beaten. By both of us! Shut up and follow my lead. See your Temtem -tem stranger? I'll fight you both. Oh yes you will. Temtem -tem up, stranger. I'm, I'm not, that's still an odd phrase. Okay, so this is a uh, interesting fight. We do have the level advantage on them. Pretty sure you'd resist that. We're gonna go light so we can do uh, stored anger. No, stop weakening me. I was gonna stored anger you. Err. You have you have the evolved form, and you're you're just using stare. I mean, I guess it's smart to use the status affecting moves early in the battle, but oh, they have four. They have four tem tem. Ooh, but Kashu got some levels. And that's another Kaku. Now the question is whether it is... No, it is weak to that. All right. Oh, hypnosis, that's unfortunate. All right, that's fine. Should still be able to keep clearing these things. Toxic Spores, that's not great, but it's only minor damage. Alright, you're dead. Okay, so Heldanger is still charging while I'm asleep, so that's good to know. Oh, you just woke me up. That was a mistake. Yeah, so if you're faster, sleep is not a good thing to be. You don't want to hit a sleeping one, because then the sleeping one gets it afterwards. Gets an attack turn in. Pukey? Oh, that's what it's called, little pukey. That's adorable. All right, let's finish you off in one blow. Helldanger. Oh crap! Did I just use a move that's gonna injure me? No. Yep. Ah, oh, I overexerted myself. Ow. All right, so it looks like we recover some of our stamina every turn, but, uh, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah, you can keep using stare, that's fine. Aha, you're injuring yourself due to overexertion as well. Good old scale is uh, leveling up. It's scale, not scally. I was pronouncing that wrong. But yeah, scale is, uh, I love scale's ability. All right, I have enough to use this once. And that once. Okay, ground versus water. Obviously a bad choice there. Apparently poison versus water is good, though. It's not fair. <sighs> oh, we got the money back from our faint, so that's good at least. Doesn't seem like money is too hard to come by and, you know, too expensive. You're a pretty good stranger. It's an exciting fight. And you're useless. Aw, poor Diego. Now let me guess, over here is the heal hut that I was looking for? Oh no, what is this? Point Icarus, bungee jumping prohibited. You, will you look at that? The house, the lake, stay away from the edge. 
They were so high above it. Scary. Imagine if a little hover just fell and it came crashing down on it. Ooh, it makes me dizzy. This place is insane. Oh, um, the lake? Love to jump from here and splash down the water. Blam! Wouldn't that be super cool? Just like a movie, dude. Stay away from the edge. Yeah, bye. Oh, stranger, what brings you here? The views. You. Just passing through. You. Ah, bold one. Surprising, given how Temtem -tem heads seem to care about nothing but your fights and all that. Perhaps you're different. Anyway, I'm interested in changes of perspective. This little high-angle view we have here is a taste of what it would be like to look down from high above. Because I'm not crazy enough to plan anything regarding the high above, don't worry. Just want to see how we can understand their perspective. What What's up with the high above? We can see our little Deniz from above the clouds. Suppose we can see the little our little Deniz from above the clouds. So of course I've thought of hiring an airship to take pictures, but that would be way too expensive. And I'm just a gifted amateur with intellectual curiosity. But you could help. Alright, how? Tamer, aren't you? You can use properly trained flying Temtem. You need Temtem strong enough to carry a camera and well trained to get us exactly the shots we want. You can help with that and give you a little reward for your trouble. For science! Let's take a look at your Tempedi and see what birdie might do the job. Uh, maybe this one. Bring me this one. Barnshee. Barnshee? Right, we need a strong but also intelligent. We need to follow instructions with complete accuracy, not just fly high. Get me a Barnshee. What is a Barnshee? I have one of those, or the ability to get one. I have literally never heard of Barnshee. Okay, well that's a long-term quest. Um, yeah, let's get you a heal. Uh, can we use items? No, we have to go to the, uh, backpack. Oh, yeah, I forgot we had these to sell. I guess I'll hold on to them until we, uh, need them, because they might be used for crafting or something later. There we go, Kaku. I, I love how Scale can just keep healing themselves. It's great. You know what, I'm gonna look in through these grass patches to see if there's a new encounter. Nope. All right, so wind types, so I gotta watch out for my nature type. Um, I think we should kill it two turns this way though. As long as it focuses its damage, yeah, down on skull or scale, it should be just fine. Fail strike. Nice. No, fainted curse. Oh, well, at least it hit scale. Scale can recover from that. Okay, never again am I fighting the, t the pig things, because that took half my health. Like, that is, that is a mean ability. Fight these guys. I'm just gonna run. Alright, I was hoping there'd just be something unique because there's like cliffs and stuff, so I might have gotten like a flying thing or something that evolved into something, but no such luck. Good day, fellow tamer. I've never seen you around these parts. First time on this trail? How are you liking the Thalasian cliffs? They're lovely. Shut up and tempt him up. Aren't they the best antidote for the city life? So let's enjoy them to the fullest. Do some fighting. Um, um, did you just single battle me? Oh, you're gonna have a super high level, aren't you? That's ah, level 18. Okay, that's a lot. Um, toxic spores, because that's gonna do more percentage of your health than anything else I can think of. Um, wow. Good news is you are super weak to my main, so I will swap my main out. Venomous claws. Well, toxic affinity. Ooh, boy. Well, you still are vulnerable to poison, so that's a solid one. All right, who check? Let's crush this guy. 
Ooh, it just got so much rage. What does that do? Is that, a, that is a double attack buff. It just swords danced. Oh, but it lowered its defense. Okay. Well, that was its mistake. Telekinetic Shrapnel. Ow, Venomous Claws. Poor Kaku. Oh, and Kaku didn't even get the experience for this fight. It's all gonna go to Hoochick. Oh well, it almost got me a level. Well, you got me. Well done, fellow tamer. I, you know, I was like, oh, this is just one. That's gonna be easy to fight. Nope. We make it up to the city? We made it up to the city, I think, finally. All right, let's look around the front gate before we go in. Because, yep, looked like a place they might hide something. Bomb plus. Ether plus. Nice. And then there looks like a grass patch over here. Is there anything? What the crap? Oh, all right then. Welcome to Farho Drop, the best place to catch Wind Temtem -tem and all that. Just watch your step, it's quite a fall. Is this Paho Drop? It is. It used to be where all Pajaro had their nests, but then everyone started coming here to catch them. So these days, there's more tamers than Pajaro. Now they nest in the rocky patches over to Kesa. I want to see you try and climb those. All right, what's down there? Long way to a quick end. I mean, there is a chance you might survive, I guess, if you're lucky enough to land on water in the upper Indigo Lake. Don't even think of trying. Better be safe, kiddo. Keep your fur feet on firm land and have some Temtem -tem battles. All right. Spectacular backdrop for a spectacular battle. All right, let's hope they're not too high level for us. Oh, they're a Pajaro Tamer. Their entire outfit and character is themed for Pajaro. Oh, two level sixes. Okay, that's not too bad. Damn. Well, this will be a good place if there's a lot of uh, wind types to train up uh, Gonki for the gym, so that'll be good. Or for the dojo. Telekinetic Shrapnel! And that's one down. Oh crap, she had three. I didn't realize. I'm assuming she's gonna have the evolve form of Pajaro. That would make sense. Nice. Good job, Lalai. Yep, Parik. Yep, figured as much. All right, let's get rid of the minion and then deal with the big one. Oh, that is a level 14. Uh, I'm just gonna take you and a little nap. Sleep time for you. What? It's got caffeine. Oh no. All right, well, so much for trying to eliminate it for a minute. Alright, well, telekinetic sh whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Both these are gonna injure me, so let's swap out to Gonki. Finish off the Pajaro. only half effective because I'm also wind typing. And then DC beam! And we'll wait and get some stamina back. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. And who'd you hypnotize? Oh, wrong one. They need to rest anyway. They weren't gonna do anything. And you just injured yourself due to overexertion. Cheer up, is that a heal? No, you damaged yourself. Um, well, that wasn't any good. <laughs> yeah, some of these trainers don't seem to grasp the concept of not getting themselves killed. You beat me! What a parik. I was not expecting them to come at me from an angle there. Alright, that's another trainer. Faro, drop. Please mind the edges and keep an eye on Temtem -tem and small children. 
right, we got one more battle. If it's a wind area, let me swap my squad up. So I can keep leveling everybody as evenly as I can. Yep. Figured you're gonna be another battle. But now, can an old lady join enjoy some quiet time on her own? Hello, madam, I'm Ghost Wolf. Well, I'm pleased to meet you, Miss Ghost Wolf. And what a lovely bonnet you're wearing, my dear. <laughs> Um, that, that's my hair, but, um, okay, she's a little blind, uh, actually, I'm not a miss, oh, sorry, sorry, sincere spies, eyesight isn't not what it used to be, you can barely tell a paro from a parrec these days, I can still put up a decent fight, I do, you mean temtem fighting? Yes, yes, whatever fancy names you're using, you youngins call it by these days, youngin, have at your temtem, see, I like her, have at your temtem, that's way better than temtem up. All right, we got a nature and a flying, so this should be, uh, oof, they are very high level, though, very high level. Uh, let's kill the pig. Nice. Heavy blow, that's a new move. Ow. And scratch. No, gonky, survive. Okay, we're good. All right, the pig is dead, so we can't bamboozle and waste our time. Now, as long as it hits Laolai and not Gonki, we should be able to get Gonki some experience. Yes, good. Ow, that hurts a lot, though. All right, Gonki got some experience for the death. Does wind work better on these guys? These are neutral, so I don't think it does. Highest damage moves. Ah, crap, one of them's gonna faint unless it... Oh, not Gonki. Gonki was the one who needed the level. Well, I could have fainted there. Um, well, 2i, you need the level better than... Uh, how chick, then. Uh, well, one turn. Feather Gatling. Ow. Still got damage in. Oh, it killed itself. Ah! All right, well, I got some more levels. Oh dear, that was quite the absolute defeat for me, was it not? I concede, young tamer. Looks so sad when you beat them. All right, let's go into town and get some heals. Arisola, queen of the Hatless Hill. Thank you for helping us keep it clean. Dojo, east, Temporium, gifted bridges, north. Airship terminal, Arisola's Palace Hotel, west. That's concerning. I'm thinking we're gonna have a fight when we come out of this. That guy was in battle pose. All right, everyone's healed up. Let's get the uh, level up squad in front. All right, new customer, good day. Welcome to the Torium. Let's see what you got. Scent, smoke bomb, tem card, antidote. Pretty much the same stuff. Tonic. Though many Arborians use it as a mixer, it's actually a Quishin medicine. Okay, it, it does HP and stamina. That's, so that's like an in-battle thing. I'll buy one of them. I've got one. I always want to make sure I keep one in of each thing in case people are like, Get me one of these random things. I'll get one cent. There we go. Hi, are you in the queue? No, I'm just looking. Go ahead. Never mind me, just looking. All right. How about you? Excuse me, which town is this? This is Arisola. Oh, that's weird. These importance are so similar to each other, I can never tell. <laughs> the game is self-aware. This guy's is the last remain reminder of how Hatless Hill would have looked before Arisola was built on top on its flat top. Such springs like this one originate all around the facing cliffs, especially near the source of the upper indigo. The poet Pasafe of Tracasia described them as a chimical chimical wedding of wind and water, sylphic soul of Denez. More pragmatically, they provide drinking water to most of the west coast. Sorry, Tamer, but the dojo's closed. You can't come in. Why is it closed? Dojo Master's not in. We're waiting for her to come back. 
Matter of fact, it's taking her longer than usual. I'm starting to worry. All right, where's Sophia? Said she was gonna catch some Temtem around Windward Fort. She took her surfboard too, so there's no reason why she's gone so long. Board, you don't need to come back the long way through the gifted bridges. You can just surf your way out of Windward Fort along the Solero River. All right, no idea. She should have been back already. Look for herself, and who stay here and take care of the JoJo? I'll find her. Would you that fellow tamer? Thank you. I'd feel much better if someone took care of this. All right. Supposed to be surfing near the Windward Fort. If you have a surfboard, it's easy to find. Just get in the water and... I don't have a board. That's the scenic way for you. All right, so you gotta leave Harry Solo go north to go through the gifted bridges. It's a long route, but there's no getting lost. Windward Fort is right at the end of it. All right. Yeah, secret item? No. But yeah, this is totally the water gym. I stay for a walk. What's up? Not much, as far as I'm concerned, there's always something going up in this town. But me, I'm just keeping my eye on Liana while I read the papers. Your kid? Yep, her name is Liana. She's... well, just look at her. She has such a vivid imagination. Playing with her is exhausting. She never tires of inventing things in her mind. Have to go. Hey, let's play Temtem! Where are your Temtem? Dad says I'm too young for Temtem, so I pretend to be a Temtem. You can play with me, but only if you know your Temtem very well. Look, now I'm a Totoro. Can you see me? Uh, of course. Oh, what a great Temtem you are. You're so tall. Yes, look, I can see above everyone's head. Zum zum blam. I'm a lullaby. Flit, flit, flit. So fast. Flying very fast. I can see the other side of the river from here. Nobody can catch me. And now you. Um... Saku? I don't remember what a Saku is. A Kalazu transforming into a Laolai. Um, Saku. Ooh. Oh no, Saku's the flower thing. You like my flower? Ooh, yeah. Another one, another one. A sword and we're fencing. Defend yourself, Sapiet. Oh, crap. It's a Sai, yeah. Oh no, you won, Sapiet. Ah, <laughs> that was fun. Pretty cool for a grown-up. Here, you can have my kiwi. I don't like them. One energetic kiwi. Delicious omniscient kiwis for your little bites of sweetness. Restores 25% stamina. Nice. All we had to do was, you know, basically pass a quiz figuring that out. <laughs> Alright, there's a big gathering there, but I want to go through some of these houses first. 20 tourists. But when we booked this apartment, it said it had a bathroom. So wait, darling, did you actually check? I did. I mean, it's only logical, right? Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, they finally addressed the fact that there's no bathrooms in any of these houses. <laughs> Pray this place doesn't have a bathroom. Do you have trash cans I can loot? Apparently you do not. Sorry, but the tour hasn't started yet. Please wait at the meeting point and the guide will meet you there soon. I'm the guide, Ghost Wolf. Ghost Wolf, not a tourist. Oops, sorry. So stressed with this thing. Guy is supposed to be here already, and they're getting antsy. Alright, can I help? I don't know, maybe you can. Oh, send Clausalu. How So how do you know Deniz? Or how well do you know Deniz? Think you can explain the main sites and answer their questions? Ah, uh, I could try. Yes, thank you. The group is over there. Just go and give them a tour. I don't know, improvise, pretty please. Alright, um, I'll get to that in a minute. Mary Sola? Nope. Yeah, just a peasant like me then? Are you hike? Are you? How are you like the big city? Yeah, I like it. I know everything is so exciting. There's so much noise, so much people from everywhere. It's like being on an airship without leaving the ground. Know what I mean? Aw, he's a cutie. So that's the route out of town. What is this? Rogue and Cole Cosmetics. No appointment needed. <sighs> We can go customization shopping. Hi, stranger. New to Aris Arisola, by the your looks. Come to the big city. Sit with me for a minute. I'm in between shifts. What do you do? Work the docks of the terminal, loading and unloading airships. Each kiwi coming in from Omnisia and each barrel of olives going out to Diniz passes through my hands at some point. To be fast, you know. Arisola only has two docks, so every time an airship docks, we have to move the cargo in and out as quickly as we can, lest the next one gets delayed. It's a tough job, but necessary. And honest. Pays okay. You get to see all sorts of funny-looking people, such as yourself. How do I get on an airship? Don't get any funny ideas now, I'm not smuggling you in a box or anything. People read those stories in Penny Dreadfuls and think it's feasible. Buy a ticket like everyone else, or enroll in 
as a cabin boy, maybe. But don't think any ships are looking for crew. The Narwhal and the Aliza Aziz are both fully crewed. All right. Yeah, it's locked off for Alpha. Ooh, fancy statue. Airship terminal. Welcome to the airship terminal. How may I help? Any ships for Omnisia? Let me see. Try the Narwhal. Tramp freighter commanded by Adia Ture. I think they're already full. You find the Narwhal at the end of the West Dock. As for Augustine, he's the steward of the Narwhal, one who handles passengers. How does this place work? It just works, barely. <laughs> uh, true statements. Visit faraway places. Dear sir, have you ever seen the pan sun rising over the Kalima Ridge of Kawisa? No, I don't even know where those places are. Madam, would you like to relax in the hot springs of Onsen Shima? Oh, hot spring town. That's good translation. Young one, are you looking for adventure in the Omniscient Flywalk? Um, what do you sell? Sell adventure, young one. I provide dreams of exotic, wondrous places. I traded life experience. I'm a travel agent. Do you like an air tip ticket for Kawisa, Onisia, Arbory maps? I'd like a ticket. You're in luck. Oh, that is 50,000 pansons. I'll stick to walking. Why walk when you soar through the air and fly like the wind? Adventure is calling. Not made of money. Excuse me, are you looking for the ticket office? This is not it, sorry. Just go to the Terminal of the West. Airships, what about them? Well, what about them? They're big, bouncy, and filled with hot air, I guess. The crews are always coming and going. We're really noisy sometimes. Not nice when I'm trying to sleep. This is not the ticket office. Uh, do you like airships? I mean, sure, nothing against them, but when they unload a flock of loud tourists in the middle of the night right next to my window, eh, well. Uh, west of here, you see walls all around you. Alright, so you... You don't have a bathroom either. Oh, no, sorry. I didn't mean to talk to you again. I wasn't... Like, I think that the, the group that we met way down in the forest said somewhere up in here they left their climbing gear. So I was hoping to either find a shop or a... Uh, their house where I can steal their climbing gear. Well, this could be it. Come in, we're about to have lunch. Care to join us? Sure, why not? Now for some coffee. Um, okay. Tried Ekerin's cooking, he's improving. <laughs> Give me a minute to finish my stew and I'll make some coffee. All right then, oop, that's eludable. Oh, well, there's nothing in it though. All right, well, nothing in there. Um. I don't think we've been in this house yet. Anything to loot? Steal the bread. Don't let Laura send you on some fool's errand. Jeez, Laura can't really can't shut up about that comic. Ooh, it's a comic hunt. Hey, do you like comic books? Yes. You know what? You know what I'm talking about. Last volume of Indira's Quest is coming out this week. No way! It's this week? Yeah. Did you read the last volume? Last story was a total cliffhanger, and I can't wait to see how she escapes from the King of Arbory and clears the, her names from the murder of... Cecilu. Where do I get it? Dude, that's the problem. It's going to be published in Chipanku first. It's going to be months till we get it here in Dinez. Maybe I can get one for you. Did you do that? I have no idea what the hell I just agreed to. I clicked twice by accident. Dude, we are the nicest fandom ever. Thank you so much. You just made my day. I'll go to Chibaku then. Wait, that's a long way. It might might for nothing. I have a better plan. No a bookshop where you can find it. Alright. Tucson Books in Harua. In Kawisa? That sounds kinda of intuitive, but everyone in their paro is gonna go to Chipanku to get their comments. They're often sold out. Tucson books is more like they have some books left. Alright. The fourth mighty Endarifian Endari fan. <laughs> Uh, we have picked up so many quests. There's not really an organized quest list. I'm thinking that might be what this is supposed to be. But, um... Yeah. Well, this looks like a... No. Can you ask me why I'm sitting here? Um, it's your house after all. Indeed. So... Yes. A chair looks uncomfortable. About that sofa. I'm perfectly comfortable with this chair, thank you very much. Alright then. 
Uh, did I go into this house yet? No, I haven't. Excuse me, care more about the waste basket than talking to you. Where was that book again? Literary snob. I'm trying to find a book. But my mom has rearranged them by cover color. Why? It's a sensible idea. Which book? Oh, you wouldn't know it. Asshole. Sensible idea. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, that's a cool little, like, wall hanging right there. I like it. Now, supposedly we're able to have our own house or base or something eventually, so that's kind of cool. We've already gone to this one. Yeah, that's the comic house. So maybe that's going to be one of the furnishing options. There are a lot of houses in this town. Holy crap. Um, well, we found the crazy Pajaro lady. That's a golden. Is that a shiny? Are you a trainer? What the hell's going on? Alright, I'm going to talk to each one of them once, just to see if that does anything. This seems like one of those puzzle things. They're just sitting in the chairs! They think they're people. I want to talk to the one on top of the fridge. Can I talk to the one on top of the fridge? Okay, I've talked to everyone. Give me something. No? All right, well, that's a strange house. Well, the good news is when we get around to that tour, I can give them a hell of a tour. And this is the house where all the Pajaro live. And this is the house with the comic people. Remember, always clean your hands after playing with Temtem. Sound advice. Never wash your hands too much. Oh. Yeah, you can when the skin starts coming off because you're a little too obsessive. Sleeping child. Uses loud explosive attack. Wakes child up. Where in Solaro is this man gone? Oh, hello. Welcome, dear guest. What can I do for you on this fine day? What's wrong? Well, to be honest, I sent Staro Stavros to check on some new furniture for the lobby, and he's not back yet. It's been ages since he went to Malachite. So he's left me here to take care of business all by myself, with that huge group of tourists checking in any moment now. Send Kalazu. Alright, I'm Luca Cohen of the Aerosol Palace Hotel. This hotel here. By the best service in town to our many and happy visitors. Would you like a room with views? The fancy and cliffs, or a suite overlooking the Solaro River? I've got stuff to do. Ari, Sol Sol ah, Ari Solano Reader. I'm trying to read. Would you mind leaving me alone? Please, I'm reading. Well, screw you too, dude. What's the point of leaving your door unlocked if you don't have something interesting? All right, well, it looks like I've learned everything there is to learn in the city. So let's go give a tour to a town we don't know anything about. Still waiting for a guide. That's me. Hey, hey, guys, the guide's finally here. Listen up. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Um, located atop Hatless Hill, Ari Sola, described for the first time by the ancient poet. Oh, crap. Um, Philosophy of Turkasia. She wrote about this unique location halfway between water and wind. Fascinating. What a city. Majestic, that majestic masses of red rock you can see towards the south on the way to Brickadamar is called the Thalassian Cliffs. They descend all the way to the shore of the Solaro River. Excuse me, just a question. What's on the other side of the river? The town of Turkasia. Quite a little town which boasts the ancient Rivervine Fellowship, the last of the old sailor brotherhoods of old. This is good! We've asked all the questions, we've talked to all the people, we know this stuff. What do you recommend we visit next? I'm really into history. Um, The ruins of Windward Fort. Ooh, castles, I love castles. Let's see if it has something on the one in Loch Adur. Um, enjoy the rest of your stay. So ready to be back to the hotel, I'm beat. You sat around and I told you three facts. Alright. Can you pay me? You did it, thank you so much. Now just hurry them to the hotel and done for the day. You've earned your rank insignia as a true and honorable tourist guide. Got an umbrella. 
Minus 20% damage when hit with a water technique. Use it proudly, Ghost Wolf. Sweet. That's actually going to be super useful for when we're fighting uh, in the gym. Um, I don't think any of these guys are weak to water in particular. Um, I wish there was a way to look at type advantage. But yeah, we'll give you the umbrella for now because you're going to be tanking in the water gym and the less damage you take, the better things are going to go. And your HP is a little on the low side. Alright, I'm gonna go get a couple fights in, get these guys up to at least like level 10 or 11 or 12, and then we'll head up to the north. Aha! Pick a pick. Prepare to be lightning shot. Or, yeah, pick a pick. PC beam. Scratch. Double damage. Ow, heavy blow. Alright. These are going to be some good experience, because they're actually higher level than I am. Oh no, the fainted curse! I forgot about it! Crap. No more fighting the pigs. Failed Bolt tries to run away? Okay, there we go. Um, hmm. Maybe we should just move on, because I feel like that's gonna be a lot of pigs, because they mentioned that all the birds have gone, so I'm not gonna have any easy fights. There we are. Hey there, friend. Are you heading for the Gifted Bridges? Yep. Before you do, you have a map of the Gifted Bridges. No. Oh, no. Not again. <laughs> gotcha. Relax. I'm pulling your leg. No. Gifted Bridges are not difficult to navigate. Well, at least not in terms of the terrain. What's difficult about the Gifted Bridges? You won't get lost. That much for sure. But there's plenty of wild Temtem lurking in the grass. And sometimes non-Temtem flora fauna can be a pest. Catch my drift. Oh, uh, no. Is the usual route... Oh. Oh. The trainers are pests. I get it. Usual route for tra tamers going to Windward Fort. Sometimes they get overexcited. They'll jump on the slightest chance of a Temtem -tem battle, so you've been warned. Very funny, isn't it? I swear, those trail keepers are no fun. So many rules and regulations. All right, hike on. Gifted bridges in solidarity and friendship from the free people of the Miss Mysteries to the free people of Denez. Well, here's our first battle. Do this. The new tamer, fresh from the dojo. But fur, we're fresh from the dojo too. Shh, silence. We challenge you, stranger. Oh, man. We actually haven't even been to the dojo yet. Once again, in true gym and dojo style, the leader is nowhere to be found. Oh, you chose the wrong things, Temtem, to throw out at me, sir. Good thing I doubled up the hits. Ow. Come on, throw out something else, water. Nice. Swally. Alright, um... Let's get rid of this guy. DC Beam! That does so much damage for being such a low-cost move. Down it goes. Alright, Tenderness, not a big threat. I'm a special attacker, not a physical attacker, so it doesn't matter. It's a Gonky! Oh yeah, I guess it is going to be neutral to it. I need to save 12, so we have to use this. Oh, 
Oh wow, that did half health. I did not expect that to do that much damage. Ow, you hurt me a little bit. That is fine. Oh, nope, that is not fine. Held anger. Yeah, your shy shield won't help you from my anger. You won't like me when I'm angry. Bam. Scavenger heals me. Wonderful. Told you. Grr. All right, making some cash. Let's see what's in this area. Come on. Give me something. Is there a new Temtem? -tem? Like a new Temtem. -tem. Nope, Paharo. Well, those are easy to kill. Heck, yep, yeah, mm hmm. PC Beam! Wow, that one shot it. Okay, good. The scratch does just transfer over. Ow! Good, Gonky leveled up. Tail strike. Get a little bit of health back. I love that healing. Like, the healing every time you knock something out is fantastic for a frontliner. Like, I will get through a lot more of this game with that one. Um, there is the... I forgot! We had customization shop! Okay, going to heal, going to customization shop. I completely forgot that we skipped it because we were running around checking out every every other place. Completely spaced on that. Oh, apparently two people can use the uh, same machine. Good to know. All right, let's see what we got. New customer, welcome to Rouge and Cole. Best clothes shop this side of the Solaro River. How many of help? What do you sell? Oh, take a look around, see for yourself. It's not a temporium, dear. Just grab whatever catches your fancy. Well, uh, pay, of course. <laughs> and change the color of my accessories? Naturally, that's what the tints are for. See that machine there? That's the one you want. All right. Striped bikini! Well, that's a little expensive. Hit the Solaro beaches in style with this flirty bikini. Wetsuit. Full neoprene wetsuit. Especially suited for water tamers who spend long days in the Solaro. Relaxed shorts. Typically laid-back style for the denizens in summer. Ideal for the intrepid adventurer who feels at home in the wilderness. Dojo Raider shorts. Open shirt. An informal style that screams too cool for school. Or even the academia. Well, it's too expensive for us. How about you? Hmm, stilettos or boots? Hmm, or both. Can we get sunglasses? Sunglasses would be cool. Uh, we don't have any options at the moment. <sighs> Steven Universe donut bag? Not the most practical of rucksacks, but it's so yummy. Oof, that's expensive. Sally Chic. Hoop earrings, a simple ponytail, and a hibiscus for, for the uh, effortless amnesian charmer. It's expensive. Pan sunglasses. Cut down the glare, amp up the cool factory. Jeez, that is expensive. <gasps> uh, the dyes are so expensive. It's part of the iconic reddish cliffs. Okay, so we get some different color sets, but... Ow. I guess I have been spending most of my money on the taming stuff. This must be what you do when you, uh, you just have infinite cash later on. Speaking of cash, how much am I up to? I'm gonna go spend some in case I get knocked out on the trail. Just kinda stock up on some more heals and stuff. Um... Tem cards. I've got 31. I should be good for a while on those. So let's get some bombs. There 
yeah. Can never have too many heals out in the field, especially considering we had... It's like, it's the easy beginner forest. We have this little, nice little healing area for you halfway through. It's the hard cliffs. There's no healing ever. Right, what do we got? More Pajaro. This should have been the Pajaro cliffs. They're all over over here. Annihilating these guys. Nice job, Gonky. Windblade. Also, I'm really glad I never nicknamed my Temtem, because otherwise I would not have known when that little girl was wanting to uh, play the pretend game what anything was. Right, you're down, and that means scale heals a bit. Oh, that's so awesome. Scavenger is such a good ability. Uh-oh. Didn't see the double battle. I was distracted by the river. Good day, sir. Would you care for a Temtem battle to pass the time? It's a long way. I'd love to fight with you. Alright. Jaquinta and Fortuna. Saku and... What is that? Oh! Is that the second form of the little guys? Alright. Well, I know you're a water type, so... Oh, you... Okay, yeah. We'll just, uh... We'll just get you down real fast. Beam, sharp leaf. Ow. Water blade. Ha ha! The umbrella cuts down my damage. Wonderful. That is working exactly as it should. Uh, wind does not extra damage against them. Serve my SP. Fin beat, ow. Yeah, that did not do nearly as much damage as I thought. Ow. Alright. Get a little bit of heal off of that. Uh, wind blade. I'm curious if it doesn't give you the green and red ow ring until you actually have used abilities on them. Okay, wind blade is bad. No, it doesn't, get, doesn't update it. So sometimes it just doesn't tell you it's a bad idea. Held anger. No, I wanted to use held anger on you. Uh, who could use the level? Kaku. Nice. Kaku just sat there and, you know, watched how it was done, learned some lessons, gained some experience. Not so fortunate after all, hmm? <laughs> That's great. Although he did kind of knock out my heal. So, uh, I need to go back to town. More Pajaro! Alright, kill you. Take some damage on you. Love that double damage. And now if it doesn't attack Gonki... Nice. You gotta level up, and we'll kill them. I just need like a passive item that heals every turn and give that to Gonki instead of the umbrella and we are being business. I wish this place was a little closer to the door. You'd think that'd be, you know, a convenience thing that they would try to do with their location, but yeah. Alright, healed up. I'm hoping for an evolution, because that'd be nice. I honestly should have Kaku on the uh, front lines as well. Because if I can get them up into their second form, that'll destroy the grass gym. Or the water gym. 
Who are you? You playing in the rapids? Welcome to Gifted Bridges, dear traveler. Although not much of a bridge left, these are still magnificent. If you think about it, bridges? Yes, I know, they might not look like it, but once these might were mighty stone bridges. Of course, they collapsed a long time ago, and what you see nowadays is less impressive. Still about a proper bridge near Windward Fort. In fact, it's still standing as a testament to the talent of its builders. Gifted. They're a magnificent gift a long time ago. They're built by truly gifted engineers, the best in the Mer Merseles? Mer Merseles? Oh, Mir Isles. The Mir Isles. Oh, okay. Spread to the people of Onisia from, to the citizens of Dinez. That was many centuries ago, and many things have changed since then, but this route remains transitable. No mean feat if you ask me. Have to go. Safe travels and watch your step. Some stones are a bit loose. Oh, thank you for telling me that. That seems like a very important piece of information. Anything good in here? Nope, more Tataru. Alright. You are full neutral, so it doesn't really matter what I use on you. Dead on turn two. You're probably gonna use heavy blow. No, not on the Genki. No, Genki doesn't get free heals. All right, at least we knocked it out. All right, trainer, see what you got. Oh, I need to talk to you specifically. Hey, come look at this Temtem I just caught. Bet you can't beat me if I use this one. Only one way to find out. Oh my god, it's a flying unicorn narwhal. That is so cool. So that's what the little uh, water unicorn thing turns into. Well, uh, I think if you're flying, that's gonna make this 4X effective. Wimplup. Okay, it's plethoric. Uses ice cubes. Does it get to go first? Times four. Just instant gift. Wow. How did you do that? I thought this Temtem was invincible. No, it's got a 4x weakness to lightning. <laughs> I've got lightning in my party. Oh, that's great. Oh, I thought that I could grab that little, like, pink floating light. Gotta look for, like, loot boxes and stuff. Alright, I think we can manage one more battle. Hi, I'm not in the mood for chat, but I can use a fight. Let's rumble. Probably should talk to the trainers after the fights, too. Alright, Gunky and, and Scale, let's do this. Um, so, you're the bigger threat. Let's get rid of you. Nice. Fin beat. Yep, yep. Hit, hit scale all the time. Scale can tank the damage, because the more I kill you, the more scale heals. Oh no, it's a pick a pick. Alright, we're gonna kill the other thing. So that pick a pick will probably take one of us down with it. Get some health back. Ow. Hoping I do the final blow with... Nope! Don't have revenge. Don't have revenge. Okay, didn't have the revenge. Ah, Hypnosis! Alright. Um, I don't really like Nimble, so I will put Hypnosis on instead. Now Gonki can take a member out of a fight. Giovanna! That was quite a fight. Let me catch my breath. I wonder what the last dude had to say. That was a pretty good fight, actually. I'm intrigued. Who are you? I'm a Temtem Tamer. Ah, well tell me something I didn't know. Would have, wouldn't have lost against just a random amateur. You obviously know your stuff. A safe trip wherever you're going. Temtem -tem catcher. Sure you are, but not just your to it's not just your toys, Temtem. -tem, it's how you use them. Your tactical choices, you know? I like your style. Just a traveler. Just a traveler? Wow. If you could do that without proper training, I wonder what you could do if you trained at the dojo. <laughs> yeah, no, I kind of like skipped all my classes. Like, I am really not trained. See if we can survive and get back to talk to that guy. 
The only downside is Hypnosis doesn't work on turn one. So I'm not able to just instantly take out half their team in the fight. No, don't nibble, Gonki. Live, Gonki. Yes. I really like uh, Scale's moveset. It's got a little bit of ground, but we've yet to find anything that doesn't have uh, part flying nature, part wind nature to take advantage of ground's effectiveness. But, you know, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I should have used a Temtem I was more familiar with. It's all about knowing how to use them. Anything else? The long and windy path. All right. I think we can manage one more fight. I don't know if we're gonna get Gonki to survive it, though. No introductions. Great time for Temtem sparring. Sorry, I'm Valara. I'm Ghost Wolf. Pleasure meeting you, Ghost Wolf. Let's get down to business. Oh boy. All right. Well, this is gonna hurt. Um, okay, you only have the two, but they're pretty high level. Ground is good against this guy. Wind burst. Ow. No, it's resistant. Okay. No, Gonky. Aw, even with Umbrella. But hey, it heals scale. That's actually pretty good. All right. Um, Poochick, I know you're going to be able to kick that thing's butt. Get rid of this guy first, though. Oh, the wind burst, but luckily that's neutral to me. All right, rage. Yep, you're double buffed, but that's totally fine, so I'll be able to unleash telekinetic blast next turn. Or shrapnel. Scratch. Or oh, didn't even need the scratch. Damn. You got me there. Well played. Good fight. Yep. Um. Okay, that's one more double battle. I don't really feel like we should probably head back to town. Get ourselves healed up and save. So there's a nice short pathway through the path. Also, we can talk to these other trainers we haven't talked to again. Bridges are fine for favorite spot. Aren't they quite something? Yep. What about you guys? It was your fault. No, it was your fault. Aw, don't fight. I forgot. I didn't think that, like, trainers would have all that much to say after you beat them. I gotta remember. See, for maybe we shouldn't challenge just anyone. Nonsense. <laughs> All right. So next time, hopefully we'll encounter some new Temtem. Or maybe evolve some of the Temtem we currently have as we're on our way to the Windward Fort. And uh, we'll go get our surfboard so we can go look for the missing students and all the other quests we have going. So leave a like if you guys enjoyed, subscribe for more, hit that little bell so you don't miss an episode. We'll be back tomorrow with more Temtem. Goodbye.